And the other thing, of course, we've got to get onto car chases. Yeah. Again, the American car tends to be rear wheel drive, mm -hmm. police chase. You used Astra diesels. <laughs> Nothing but the best. Well, that's what the, you know, a lot of, uh, of the police are kind of lumbered with. And because actually the chase is, uh, is, is an it's another Astra diesel in, in the chase, it's like fire and ice. That chase would never end until the fuel ran out. Do you know what I mean? Because there's no. Oh, yes, two Astra the same. chasing each it's other. It's like the immovable force and the unstoppable object. The other awful thing, of course, about the Astra diesel is you know those world's wildest police chase video things? Yeah. I once watched one of those in America, and they yeah. said, We got a clip from England now. I'm just dying to die of shame. <laughs> and sure enough, it went round a corner on a housing estate and bumped into a plant pot. Yeah. And there's your. <laughs> Now, you say you had some driver training for the film. Did you have gun training as well? Uh, we did a couple of days. I was pretty proficient anyway. I'm you a were a gun shot. man? I've got a bunch of weapons. I, I pack heat. <laughs> <laughs> but we had some amazing days of just whole days running through Wells Town Centre firing off Winchester 1300M pump-action shotguns. The 1300M. Lovely weapon. Yeah. I like the way you throw the model name in there. Nick Frost calls... He, he, he called it Emma. He was that attached to it. <laughs> and um, when we were doing space, he, he, he had to dismantle a gun uh, for the show. So he took a, a replica MP5 home, which is a machine gun, mm. um, took all his clothes off. No, he, he, <laughs> he, he stripped <laughs> to the waist. <laughs> it was summertime, and he put a blindfold on and was kind of doing this. Took the blindfold off to check the watch, and there were eight armed police officers in the living room with their guns drawn. <laughs> like, you know, and they made the decision that if Nick went like that, as opposed to that, which is what I did, they were going to shoot him. Really? Yeah. And he phoned me afterwards, Simon, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> and he said, he, he, apparently he was going, I'm an, I'm, an, I'm an actor, I'm an actor. And they were like, well, where's your equity card? They've changed the ruling, you don't need one anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I just move on, because films, you're yes. a bit of a buff, I gather. I am a bit. Star Wars in particular. Yeah, absolutely. Did you not once write a, a three and a half thousand word essay on why you thought C-3PO was gay? <laughs> That's, that was a part of um, what I wrote was that I did a, I, I analyzed Star Wars in, uh, from a Marxist perspective in terms of saying <laughs> what it was was the idea that and there are lots of things in Star Wars that are pretty right wing. It, it came after Vietnam. It was a big expression of American white middle class power and the rejection of the old order of the English. And you could argue that C-3PO was a kind of emasculated homosexual because he was very camp, but he was safe because he didn't have a willy. <laughs> So it was okay. He was Homosexual men have willies. He was sexually non-threatening. Graham Norton's got a willy. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I must admit, I, w when I was doing my lap, uh, I, I, was, I was just wishing that I could hear the stig like Ben Kenobi. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Slow her on the corner, Simon. Slow her on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, listen, who would like to see Simon's lap? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at this. Good screech. That's good. Nice. Oh, it's a slight wheel spin. That's kind of my job, actually, that, the commentary on what the car's like. Oh, yeah. That was pleasant. <laughs> that was very pleasant. <laughs> Pleasant's not a word I've ever... Look at that! That was my favourite Ben, that one. Well, why did he... It was so good, he just kept it going. Third gear, you <laughs> uh, Leave from Hugh Grant there from a couple of weeks ago, and... Nice. This is good. Help! <laughs> That's the first cry for help we've had. This was... Uh, that was so much fun. Don't you see you... You've got it. You can nail this one. You're laughing. Look at those eyes! No, where's the speed gone? I know, that was my worst call. No! Oh, you slowed down! I know, I know, I know. That was oh, my... across the line, there! Yeah. <laughs> That's the adrenaline going, doesn't it? It really, really does. Yeah. It was so much fun. Where do you think you've come? I'd hope for kind of upper middle. But, uh, above Coogan, please. Above Coogan. You did it in one minute, so you're above Jimmy Carr. <laughs> 40. So already you're above Coogan. 8.5. Oh. So way above Coogan. Oh. Nice one. <laughs> a 
I think if that I is... nailed that corner, if I, that was the one that, that bothered me. I reckon if you'd have done those last two corners at sort of Michael Gambon speed, for instance, <laughs> you would have been up there, honestly, with Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. That was a very good lap. It felt really great. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, listen, best of luck with the film, and thank you very much for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Simon Pegg! Thank you.